down the hatches, sea lovers. You're in for a treat. First up, a motor yacht of epic proportions with a price tag to match. It is the first of its kind. A chemical engineer from Chicago might not seem the most obvious choice to found a boat building company. But that's exactly what Vince Lanzara did in the mid-1950s. Vince summed up his philosophy with a favorite saying. God only gives you so many days, but the ones you spend at sea don't count against you. Half a century and three generations later, Lazara Yachts is recognized as one of the industry's greatest innovators, bringing a mega yacht feel to the motor yacht class. The company's LSX line of fully customizable sports yachts has been described as revolutionary, a testament to Vince's enduring legacy. I got into the boat building uh, business at, uh, in my young 20s when I got out of the service. I went to work for my father. We built sailboats, trawlers, and motor cruisers. But when we founded Lazare Yachts, there weren't a lot of imports coming in from overseas. And we wanted to create a new concept for motor yachts in America. So we know what had been done to date, and we wanted to step outside that box and really create something that was innovative. The answer came in the form of the LSX-92, a game changer in its class. Never content to rest on its considerable laurels, Lazara has embarked on a custom build so radical that the job has been designated as a new model, the LSX-95. A repeat customer from Florida has commissioned his first ever custom-made boat and plans to shuttle it back and forth between Fort Lauderdale and the Bahamas. His extensive list of modifications is all-inclusive. Some of the ideas that were in the design phase of was extending the bridge and tripling the size of it and making it 32 feet overall from here to here, which is about the size of the standard 80-foot motor yacht fly bridge. Like its predecessor, the new LSX-95 will feature a luxurious master stateroom, three impeccable guest staterooms, and a crew cabin. The inside helm of the prior model has been eliminated to accommodate a greatly expanded salon area, and the interior amenities have been earmarked for significant upgrades. The showers are a challenge. He, he um, added uh, tile on the entire shower surface versus fiberglass. This is the glass mosaic he's chosen, so that same tile that we spec for the shower to be on the floor. Any of the little LED mirrors? We're going to add uh, three of those to the boat. They'll be on the so far, the idea is to put one in the day head here, one above the, the vanity here. This multi-million dollar interior will set a new standard for the brand. Every element of the boat, every area needs to be spectacular. <laughs> in a break from contemporary industry trends, Lazara's design team will initially model the LSX-95 in clay, rather than relying on computers to do the work for them. So we have in our head already some concepts that we've developed on paper but we'd like to see them three-dimensionally. So this is one inch to the foot. The biggest design change for the LSX-95 is the expansion of the flybridge. Once we get the shape that we like, I will usually transfer it into the computer, uh, turn it into surfaces we can actually use. We'll usually go through uh, three or four variations of this. There's a, a specific design language uh, that Lazar has that nobody else has. Once the design work has been finalized, production begins on the ship's hull. This will require four weeks to complete. Here again, the company employs its own unique, non-traditional methodology. Usually a hull gets pulled from its mold from the top down, allowing the mold to remain in one piece. Lazara splits its mold into two pieces, so the hull can be released from the sides. That allows us to, to be much more creative with the hull shape. It also allows for greater design flexibility. On this particular yacht, one of the standard options that we had was the side balcony that really made the 92 famous. However, the customer decided that for, for his personal use, he would much rather have a larger crew quarter. Either way, it's an insert in the mold, so as long as, long as we know ahead of time, we can change that fairly easily. While the hull is being laid up in its mold, the interior of the yacht is being built, plumbed, and wired on the factory floor. We designed the whole interior to be installed as one, building the interior outside of the boat and then dropping the whole thing in. This allows the interior to be one solid structure, which will stay together at high speeds and extreme seas. And so begins the nine-month journey to bring this creation to life, a timeline unheard of for a yacht this big and complex. We're helping advance the industry as much as we can. We'll check back on the progress of the LSX-95 a little...
Renowned for its extremely luxurious fleet, Lazera takes custom to a whole new level. Their first big hit was the 76, a production and custom yacht hybrid that brought the company instant success back in 1992. So we designed a 76 footer uh, that had a lot of innovative features on it, high gloss finishes, high gloss uh, lacquer interiors, and it was a very, a very contemporary boat relative to the US market. The company has agreed to design and build a next generation LSX-92 model commissioned by a repeat client living in Florida. The LSX-95 will be extensively modified from the hull to the custom flybridge, which at 32 feet is triple the size of the 92. The original one was about 250 square feet. Now we're close to about 800 square feet. What the added space allows us to do is to really customize it to, to the owner's need. And in this case, the owner needs the extra space for entertaining, which he plans to do in high style by including an eight-foot-long bar. We're taking the flybridge and we're putting it on top of the deck. The way we usually build the yachts, we usually build the, the lower portion of the deck house like with a flat top and then the flybridge. We also have a flat bottom. The flybridge is completely constructed of carbon fiber, which is both extremely durable and super lightweight. Minimizing weight and keeping the center of gravity low are critically important as the structure rises high above the waterline. From top to bottom, it's all about adding usable space. To accommodate the expanded living areas, the Lazera design and engineering teams have had to dramatically rethink the engine room and power plant of the new 95 model. This is a, a 3D rapid prototype of the engines of the IPS 900s and this was the original engine room layout we did which shows the stringer grid layout system that drives in the four engines. On this new prototype that we're working on we've gone down to three engines. This configuration allows for lighter weight while the three Volvo Penta IPS engines don't sacrifice any power. We're going from four 900 horsepower engines to three 1200 horsepower engines. The entire engine package overall is a thousand pounds lighter. Also allows us to have an, an interior that's much larger than any other boat of that size. The modern inboard system is superior to previous inboard shafts in just about every vital respect, including handling, performance, and onboard comfort. These benefits have made the Volvo Penta IPS the most popular pod system for leisure boats. It's often called a tractor pull system, so unlike the conventional yacht where the propeller has thrust going aft, these actually act as if they're pulling you forward. There is no traditional rudder system or shaft system. The entire pod unit swivels on its own axis, so by doing that you get more thrust than having a single rudder directing the flow of the water. A boat this big requires a lot of paint, from the bottom on up. The multi-step process begins with the hull, which is board sanded by hand and then coated with three layers of high-build epoxy primer. Uh, this particular boat here is going to have two different types of uh, shades of uh, silver metallic. Uh, you specifically want it like a dark silver metallic for the hull, and then for the upper deck, you want like a light silver metallic. You just want a whole different look. Rather than wait for all this paint to dry, we'll check back on the progress of the LSX-95 later on. The Lazera family has established a boat-building dynasty spanning nearly 60 years and three generations. At the request of a loyal client from Florida, the company is in the midst of a soup-to-nuts redesign of its LSX-92 sport yacht that will result in a brand new model, the LSX-95. As work progresses on the hull and engine room, the interior is also coming together beginning in the wood shop. We actually use using multiply and various kinds of wood, hardwood and veneers. We actually program everything in another computer. We convert it so we can talk to the machine and let them know what we want to do. This milling machine will help carve out some 500 separate pieces for the interior of the massive yacht. But that's just the first of several steps in the furniture making process. Before it's finished, each piece of woodwork will be touched by no fewer than 10 different craftsmen. These tables will, will go on the flybridge in the 95. This one will be a quarter end table. Um, and then we have a bar top that goes with it and uh, three other exterior tables. Exotic Indonesian Makassar ebony on top of African mahogany 
provides a knockout combination for lizera's custom furniture. this is a special piece going in the master shower for the owner. i refer to it as a ribbon seat. so this is the profile that we're looking at. as you go into the master shower, you're going to see this bench seat on the on the aft wall. and it forms a ribbon up to the ceiling. and then there's another element that goes over over the overhead and back down the other side of the wall. and it should be a real stunning feature in the master bath. the high expectations are warranted. this seat alone will cost ten thousand dollars. applying finish to the furniture is a three-step process first, each component is sealed, then covered with several coats of black polyurethane. finally, a gel coat cements the new piece together. and although it looks pretty darn good as is, it's nowhere near shiny enough for this yacht. enter the beast. the biggest, baddest buffing machine of them all. kind of like a car wash. i guess it's the best way you can describe it. it's got four wheels in it. And independently spins around. You can go left, you can go right. It travels up and down on the, on the car. And um, basically, it'll just buff all day long. It doesn't complain, it doesn't grind. If you look at it, you see you need to buff it again. Push the button, it buffs. The Beast's buffing wheels are comprised of hundreds of layers of bunched up wool soaked in a buffing compound. Over the course of several hours, it will produce a magnificent black piano finish that's the envy of the yachting industry. We developed a, a high gloss piano finish for the finish of the boat that would, at that time really had not been, been used in the industry, certainly in a production basis. And for the amount of bling going into this boat, the beast is going to be busy. Uh -huh. And a short drive away in Tampa, Lazera Yachts is putting the finishing touches on its all-new LSX-95 Sport Yacht. There is much work yet to be done. So we're standing in the VIP shower, and one of the extreme things about this room is the mosaic tile. You'll see that it's made up of individual tiles, but then the grout that had to be developed in order to withstand the compression and movement in this yacht was something that we co-developed with the manufacturer. In addition, a shower like this would not be able to be installed if it wasn't for our construction technique. It's a carbon fiber with reinforcements throughout the whole structure, much like a Formula One car, which will stay together at high speeds and extreme seas. And the requests just keep on coming. The owner specifically asked for a high gloss floor with stainless steel inserts, a 40 foot free span with no walls to support it. And that free span has to be able to flex and move when it sees the speeds of 30 knots at sea. So we designed a special isolation mount that separates the floor from the structure. It actually floats it so that it can flex and move and give, and yet keep that perfectly flat reflective surface. We're building for an owner that we built two boats before prior to this. Uh, he's very much on the leading edge. Uh, he likes an extremely contemporary uh, interior. And from that standpoint, we're able to, to do things that, you know, showcase our talents in other areas. One of those areas is technology. This yacht is so smart, even the mirrors have a PhD. And one of the things that we're about to install is this extreme mirror. It monitors your face, and the little squares that are on the mirror will turn the mirror, but when your face moves away, those squares become light. So it acts as a vanity and a mirror with face detection technology. Follow that? Don't worry, we'll be getting a demonstration later, once the work is completed. The yacht can also track itself every second of every day, and that data is instantly sent back to the maintenance team at Lazera. So you might be familiar with the black box in your car or black box in a plane. It's tracking similar data, but unlike the box in your car, you don't get that data. And so it's of no use to you. But what we're doing is bringing that data back to the factory and then feeding it back to the owner and the captain. What do you know? Brains and beauty later. The multi-million dollar floating palace that will leave you breathless. When extreme yachts continue, the next chapter in the evolution of sport yachting is about to be writ large as the Lazera LSX-95 prepares to chart its own unique course. It is the first of its kind. And the only thing more extreme than the brains and beauty of this yacht is the price tag. This is it, the Lazera LSX-95, the new gold standard in American-made luxury sports yachts. Throughout its 60-year history, three generations of the Lazera family have devoted their lives to the pursuit of boat-building perfection. It's taken nine months to custom design, engineer, and construct this maritime mansion. It's Lazera's ultimate super yacht. We're on the bow of the boat now, and as you can see, we have a sun pad, forward seating here, and a big table that has cup holders in it and an umbrella that goes in the middle of it. We also have these integrated lights that pop up, so at night it lights up the uh, outside area here. 
One thing that made this uh, this boat unique is that instead of doing teak tables, we used this black and white ebony macassar. It's the first time we've used it on the vessel, and it just gives it a more extreme look. We're on the 95 swim platform, and what we're looking at here is Lazera Beach. It's a place to put the lounge chairs and enjoy the water. So when the toys are tied up to the side of the boat, you can relax in here. One of the unique things about this vessel, it's the only boat in the world to have three Volvo IPS 1200s. What that enables you to do is control the boat like a video game. It'll go sideways, diagonal, and rotate 360 degrees continuously. We have two control stations on port and starboard, controlled by a joystick. There's also one on the flybridge, so a total of three on the vessel. We're inside the engine room of the 95 Lazera Superyacht. As you can see, the engines are custom painted red to match the bootstripe of the boat. The fuel burn on this total is 115 gallons at 30 knots, which is about 30% more efficient than an equivalent boat of, it, of its size. Uh, we're inside the crew quarter of the 95 Lazera Super Yacht. Inside here, we have a double berth. On this side over here, we have two over-under bunks and a head, a crew desk, and plenty of storage. Looks like the crew's living large. And so is everyone else. One of the most unique aspects of this boat is this atrium galley. It has 15 feet of headroom. Also has custom countertops made from an artist in California. It's been a challenge to install these countertops because they're individual glass pieces. So we've had to make them really uh, lightweight and very strong and rigid to be able to take the flex of the boat. On the port side of the galley here, we have this ribbon glass table. The uh, inch and a quarter ribbon glass weighs about 125 pounds. So it's been a challenge to install such a heavy piece of glass in, in this part of the vessel. It's been structurally reinforced with steel into the base, going all the way down to the sole. Coming up from the galley into 95, we're looking at the dining table. It's one of the most extreme pieces on the yacht. It has a gear mechanism which extends it out to seat eight people. We have two barrel chairs with the same inlay that's in the wood floor. We also have a 52-inch TV, custom rug. The area rugs are carved to match the headliner detail. Walking aft in the salon, we have a day head. It has a fossil floor and the OLED mirror on the back side of it. The fossil floor matches the bar on the starboard side of the boat. Throughout the boat, we have these various touch pads. There's 53 of them located around different various staterooms and heads. On top of that, there's tablets that control the various components and systems of the vessel. Port side of the vessel, there's a washer and dryer. Storage above it and below it. There's also a TV on the wall, and it's finished in the same furnishings as throughout the boat. We're in the 95 forward v berth. As you can see, it has a big bed, plenty of storage, soft touch closing mechanisms on all the drawers, custom leather bump rails with custom stitching, a set T on the starboard side, a large hanging locker on the port side. All the wood is a high gloss, black piano finish, custom handles on all the cabinets. We're in the forward head of the 95. We have this intricate glass detail that goes throughout the floor and into the shower. It has an epoxy grout in there which allows the tile to move. We're in the starboard VIP stateroom. This is a full walk around queen size bed. The port size stateroom has two smaller twin beds. They slide together to form a queen. It has black uh, leather with red stitching, a hanging locker, a TV, and its own head. We're in the master stateroom of the 95. To top it off, it has a mother of pearl headboard, has a set T on the starboard side, fully stocked bar, 50 inch TV in front of the bed, personalized crystal sconces on each side of the bed, and there's 24 drawers in here with soft touch closing mechanisms. I'm on his side of the master bath, and one of the things that makes this an extreme yacht is the organic LED lights. It has four different settings, and one of the settings as you move in front of the mirror, the light dispenses around the image. In the middle of his and her sinks on each side is this beautiful master shower. This is four months of work on the ribbon seat made of an ebony macassar, which is the same material used on the exterior tables. It has glass ceilings and glass walls. We're in the master bath 
on her side. And one of the unique features about this that makes it extreme is the inch and a quarter ribbon glass used on tops of the vanities. It also has polished nickel sinks and polished nickel faucets with LED rope lighting around the mirrors and custom handles on all the cabinetry which match the door handles. Now it's time to check out the ultimate flybridge. This is where the party action is on the boat. So, how much does this party cost? And all this personalization and customization can be yours for $9 million. The world is your oyster in a boat like this. It's a lot of pride and passion going to these vessels. Just consider the...